Hello, hello, and welcome to this video where I'm going to share with you a Pomerosa oil to work with the Virgo moon cycle. And each month I like to pair an oil and a point to help you embody the energy of the lunar cycle. And just to give you a little bit more sort of playful information and a way to, to move with, um, to find a new way to move with these energies from the inside out and to take a, a friend from the plant spirit realm to help us inform our energy body. And in case you don't know me, my name is Jenny King. I'm a licensed acupuncturist. I'm an aroma point therapist and I'm a teacher. I'm a moon guide. And so all these things combined have me sitting here talking to you about Palmarosa on um, small intestine four acupoint for the lunar Virgo moon cycle. So let's get started. Um, Virgo is our third lunar cycle for the, the summer season. So we started with the waters, the initiatory waters of Cancer. We moved into the fixed fire of Leo, and now we are in the mutable, changeable sign of Virgo, which is an earth sign. And earth is about holding digestion and um, structure. And because Virgo is the mutable sign. It has, it, I really, I really associate it more with the digestive process of the earth sign um, more than the holding function, right? And so Virgo is really about kind of, um, it, we're, we're the third lunar cycle of the summer. And what is digestion for summer? It's harvest. It's harvest season. And how do we take the bigness of the rest of the summer and the, all the sun and everything that's come through and how do we begin to digest it and bring it in in a way that is usable for us? Well, we do it through one step at a time, ritual, routine, intention. And Virgo often gets a bad rap as like the perfectionist. It's really nitpicky. But what Virgo wants us to do is grow and grow towards our highest and best self. And the drawback of Virgo is that it can see all the possibilities. It can see the perfection. And so sometimes it gets caught up in that really granular sort of, you know, this is the way it has to be because I can see all, I can see the way forward and I wanna be able to do exactly the perfect thing. But when we bring in a little bit of humility, when we bring in the process as the um, way forward, we can work with Virgo in a way that can serve us because it helps us to stern, discern and distill down what is most important. And again, we do that through routine, through releasing the things that are really working for us, through um, you know, walking a path as a way to know ourselves. And so what we're going to do today is use this Pomerosa essential oil. And um, this is a plant spirit. So we're using the distilled essence of this grass and Pomerosa is in the vetiver. You know, it's, it's like a grass like vetiver or lemongrass. And um, its roots go down and, is, and it's used for phytoremediation, for basically removing toxic metals from soil, so the earth, and, um, and cleaning it up. And, and then you can actually use the plant and distill it and use it as an essential oil. So if that's not Virgo, I don't know what is. <laughs> Because <laughs> the plant itself separates the pure from the impure. And then we're moving into using it on our small intestine channel, which is really a fire channel, but it's in our digestive system, right? And it moves down the knife edge of our arm and it helps us sort of like cut through things and know, you know, kind of know what is like, yes, no, yes, no, what comes in and is part of us. Um, because if you think about the small intestine, um, as a physiological, as an organ, is this semi-permeable membrane, which after the food gets digested, it goes into the small intestine. And then, you know, then that membrane actually decides what gets to come in and go into our blood and become a part of us to go into every cell. And that is a distillation process in and of itself, move as things move through the small intestine. And so we're gonna energetically use the small intestine tuning point the point, the tuning point on the small intestine channel, it's called the source point. And we're gonna add 
our Palmarosa oil to that point. So let's do that. I have my Palmarosa here and mine is at a 30%. I like, you know, 25 to 30% I think is plenty. And if you need more information on that, I'll put a link and um, that you can have a YouTube video where you can learn how to dilute your oils for one point therapy. And then I also have a, um, an affiliate link with our um, Monier Oils who makes oils specifically for aroma point therapy. But let's get started. So if you have your oil, grab it. And then you are gonna drop one drop. And I, I usually just take my drop since I've been using my bottle just for me. And I place it right on that point. Place a drop there. Do, 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 oh, or two. <laughs> and then I like to just press the points together. So if you didn't catch where the point was, I will recap. So you're basically taking, going from the pinky and you're going down the knife edge of the pinky. And right before, you know, you're on that fleshy edge, right before you jump over the wrist, there's a hollow. If you run your finger down, there's a hollow there. And that's our small intestine four. If you were into tapping, um, this is one of the points you, this is the point you often start with. Right? It's, and, it, and I love that it's like, it's the point where you're like turning on your, that discerning quality before you start doing your tapping. And if you don't know what tapping is, it's a, it's a form of just helping your, integrate your thoughts and change the energy around them. So I'm just holding and from point therapy, we're just using a light touch. And I'm just waiting for a subtle shift or change in my energy body. usually takes about 60 seconds or longer. Sometimes there's a series of unfoldings as the longer you hold the point. It's always good to take a nice deep breath of the oil as you're at some point before, during, or after. And then just as you go about your day, as you're holding your point and as you're going your day, just noticing, and this is true anytime you put an oil on an acupoint, noticing thoughts, feelings, impressions, phrases, um, bodily experiences, so little shifts and changes in your body, um, noticings, um, fluid thoughts, and maybe just old memories that bubble to the surface. All of those are in the realm of the experience of the oil on the acupoint. What I personally feel when I um, play with Pomerosa, especially on this point, is just this, it's sort of a, again, it's just a clarity of thought. Um, I feel like my thoughts and my feelings line up a little bit more easily. I'm able to um, perform my daily tasks in a way um, that where the kind of the noise drops away and I know, I know what I'm about. I know what the next most important thing is. I know, um, I know where I am in space and time, and really what what is what is true for me in that moment, and how I, how I can move forward and cut through the the kind of the clutter of the world, and um, find my way through it. And I don't. It's not like I have the answers to everything, but I'm but I'm just moving forward with a clarity of purpose, and I feel like that really can help you. Um, again, with that Virgo, it really lines up with Virgo and that routine and ritual clarity, moving towards perfection, moving towards the gold. And that is what I feel like this oil point and season can help us capture. So enjoy. Let me know if you do use this oil and point, how it goes for you. I always love to hear your experiences. And until next time, so much love from my heart to yours. Mwah.